Hello. Yeah, let's see some cowboys. I just want to start off stream by saying, look at the, this is a fantastic wash day. Day three, for day three, and I forgot to put it up in a headscarf last night for sleeping. Let's, uh, let's uh, hear it out for, for this wash day. Everyone, hip hip hooray. I'm just, I'm just pretty happy. And it doesn't feel too dry either. <laughs> now just imagine if I had a, a headscarf on last night. I'm just saying, oh, also we have um, a new Kroger diet soda, orange. It straight up just tastes like Fanta, but if it was tangerine flavored instead of orange flavored. So, honestly, pretty good drink and all. Let's get some commotion for the hair. Yeah. Also, I would, I'd like to point out that, um, yeah, this, talking about being intrigued by this, yes, it's good. And it is, as you might expect, bright orange, but it tastes good. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it tastes pretty darn good. I didn't fix my exposure. It's still too high, but oh well. We're going on. We're moving on and pretending that I'm not washed out. Moving on. Now. Or my poor finger. My poor finger. Apologies for how loud it is. But not like super apologies, you know, just kind of apologies. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. You're still here? Ah, loud. Is that loud for you guys or just me? Let me know. I'll turn it down. Should I be somewhere else? Yeah, home in your nice soft Betty by You and your friends, if they ever show up. You ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too, Too rugged. rugged. Too much maybe work. slightly loud. Too dangerous. Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Jane Nash in the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh stuff, in my stuff. I'm just very observant, that's all. My I'm just business like ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Hot take, I'd rather date Tex over Dave. I'd rather date Mary, which I think is... I'd rather date Mary over either of them. Yeah. Agreed. I think we'd all rather date Mary. That's not true. Not everyone is in here. I have to remember that. What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? What's going on? Am I talking to you? Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? I Have mean, you ever sure. met Mary Why not? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Raleigh's comes up. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Raleigh's? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's, she's got something crafter. up her sleeve. Yeah. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? 
I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. You like to, to gossip, gossip, don't, don't you? you? More than anything. Which isn't a bad thing. It's okay. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition. That's I like all. to think. So, so, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, nobody really. Okay. So, what kills me is like how we've been doing this this playthrough. Yeah, I better get going. In Don't order. Be a stranger. I'm. I've been like playing Nancy. Is like, oh yeah, no, I believe every single person that we are like friends with. Like, we know that Lisa is a diamond thief, and that she is- it's very obvious that she is trying to kill Nancy, but at the same time, Nancy doesn't know. <laughs> Nancy's like, you know what, this- she's my friend. And I like to think that this situation right here is the same thing. Where Nancy's like, oh, Shorty gets me. Shorty and I are friends. It's so nice to have another person to, to talk snooping things with. <laughs> Sorry. Just reading chat. <laughs> okay. I know what I can do. Uh, let's take a picture, because I'm I'm way too lazy to take notes. And I'm way too stoned to take notes. Is honestly the answer to that. Oops, wrong way. And it does not help that my mouse is not working properly with the Well, I mean, my mouse is working fine. The game is not allowing my mouse to move properly. Ten. Hand flag. Okay. You just got your Steam Deck. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me. Which, of course, they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. <laughs> Looked right dead to me, but this voice Francis acting? planted it out back and gave ah. it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and Same write good and knows my her ass. numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. But yes, a cab. However, this is this is just well acted. I think is what makes me so emotional. Like the voice acting in the letters is better than the rest of the game. Like, right? Am I wrong? The rest of the game, the voice actors are okay, but the voice actors for this, fantastic. March thirtieth, eighteen eighty three. Frances has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays a piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. April 16th, 1883. I feel Got a like letter from the sheriff the over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks and a stagecoach. We'd be able to call Carson the picture with the letter looked like a whole just father like daughter Dirk, thing? who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. 
Why would she, though? August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money, meant to pay miners or hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say well, that. Well, I, I wonder why. On him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him which she hides from me. September 9th, 1883. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk and saw where they was going to meet. So I got a posse and we caught Dirk and now he's in jail. And then they killed him. The judge him. is coming he next dies. week and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more and says she never will again. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course, and if she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. I, I, you know. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would Ain't. be glad, but I ain't. Why would you be glad? September 18th, 1883. Fucking weirdo. Francis took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget, Dirk, mm. and when she does, she will come home oh. because she's a smart gal. And Alternate we'll universe where Meryl just what sits Dirk down and tells him about the miners, and then Dirk's like, oh, so I'll be more careful to rob, rob the rich people next time, and Meryl just lets him carry on. See, that would be better. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. Oh, she Meryl, buddy. 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that, so it is my fault that it died. I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never yeah, come back to Yeah, see, Shadow the Ranch. voice acting is what, my fault. what does it. I'll just have to find a way to live with it. Like, right here, you know? Right here. He, he's like, ah. Uh, I fucked up and it's my fault and I she's never going to forgive me and I just have to live with it. I can appreciate I can appreciate someone who's like, "Ah, no, yeah, I fucked up." You know? This doesn't look like it was ever opened. Well, good news. Let's open it. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing yeah. I hid for you, Her I go and get myself solid arrested. Solid games. But no this matter one. what you hear, nothing is going to happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. <laughs> I like vexing your brain because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. You know I am what? sure to be out of here before sure. you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours and that you Why are not? more precious to me I than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. I Dirk. love you. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you.
Yoink. Shit, what was it? No. There we go. Okay, and now I have a reason to ask someone about the petroglyphs. Miss Nancy. How may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. If I could get a tattoo, have a tattoo from any of the games, what would it be? Okay, so I've already talked about Ariana and me um, getting junior detective and senior detective matching tattoos. Um, I... I, that's my that's my thing that I would really like. <laughs> Obviously, I'm junior detective and she's senior detective. Big sister, little sister, you know? Okay, so he can't help me. Is it then... Do you help me? Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? The letter made it sound like Dirk was sending Francis on some kind of treasure hunt. Well, if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I talked to my friends, this is Beth a child. and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to Reese get Reese is drawing a Suki from that. the sticker set. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. Okay, but also, Dirk's like V, that would be pretty good somewhere. <laughs> you know? Is it Mary Ozzy I have to ask about petroglyphs? Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one ever find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered like. Come on. Thank you. Are you and Driving your sister very insane. close? Nope. Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flake. I'd have probably fired her too. Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly um, hid for his sweetheart? Nope. I would get a member of Spide tattoo, actually. With my member of Spide design. I would 100% get that. If anyone's wondering what I'm talking about. Wouldn't that be a fun tattoo? And also, would people be willing to buy, um... 
enamel pins of this. Would, would anyone like a pin of this? Maybe? I'm considering. But I'd have to make sure that I'm going to get like a demand for them because I might have to do pre-orders and then do it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do pre-orders. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, I love the... I, so the keychains were a bust. I was really enjoying making them. But they're they're not good. They're not like good enough quality to sell, and I can't figure that out because it would take actual uh, resin and making a real mold and stuff like that. So when I say actual resin, I mean it would probably be better if I used um, epoxy instead of UV because UV works if I want to make it pretty clear, but I want the it to pick up the details so can't really do it very well with uv resin unless i go very slowly and even then the molds i was making weren't the best because the 3d printing wasn't the best um but i still you know they're fun to make i've made a couple i just know now that i need more like attention to detail Okay, back to the game. I'm just getting distracted. Figures. Oops. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Assuming I'm allowed to go for a ride, because I can't ask. Ooh. Oh my god. I just love this game. Hi, can I help you with something? Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend... Sorry, give me a second. ...hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. Yeah, they just suddenly picked up and left, uh-huh. I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. One of the ghosts from Kerr? Yes. Oh, 100%. I like that I can take them before needing them. Heck, why walk when I can ride? I think I'll let Bob do the walking. You know. Nancy <laughs> being eaten by the giant plant would be a great tattoo. Yeah?
If I had a rope, I could lasso that tree branch and pull myself up. Yeah. right there. can and then Nancy jumps yeah. oh, I can't make that out need a rope Nancy I need a rope through good puzzle. A plus. A plus puzzle, honestly. There we go. Ooh, sorry, Bob. something I need a rope do you think I could borrow yours nope talk to you later no hurry hello Nancy Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Call someone. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. I don't like having to call people. Over here for privacy. And thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of I'll her I'll let novels, you get back to <sighs> work. Never mind. Whatever. Hello? Hey, Bess. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? Apparently, last night, I this glowing horse came galloping right up out or of nowhere, the... caused a oh, huge I have to commotion, call the Raleigh, don't then I? went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? 
It looked like it was glowing. You're there investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? A big fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Oh, let me... there. Jesus Christ! Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy! I can hear, Bet. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bess and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed, too. Got that? All right. Good. Yes, ma'am. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ra... I mean, Uncle Ed doing. Well, he's running a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to Sorry, keep him here something. overnight just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you? Oh, but doing? enough about us. Oh, amazing. I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazi like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. I heard about the phantom horse. I heard about the phantom was horse. Night, the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. It doesn't look like Bess and George are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Hate Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those all cowboys right. to yourself for a while. That day I think is we had cute. ice cream and we're out of ice cream now and I am just wholly disappointed that I don't have ice cream right now. He seems a little standoffish. Oh, he's just a little bashful. He'll warm up to you. He's quite a handyman. Very trustworthy. I'll be in touch. We'll be right here. Bye. Oh god, just what I want. Cowboys. I have to go to Mary's shop. Mary's shop. Shop. Let me go to Mary's shop and talk about some stuff. Too far, Risa. Too far. I think Nancy should get to ride her back. Come on, Bob. She does in the end. Kind of. <laughs> cat? Is there a cat? Oh, yeah, there she is. Pretty baby. I'm being just every time she's on stream, she's like, No, you want me up there, so I'm not getting on.
I'm an amazingly patient cat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was so distracted. We were dancing. It was a great time. Russia's cat. I my name often gets um yeah my game often gets. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Come in again. Um. Oh no, I have no idea what I was saying. Forks. Cool. The initials on this trunk. Whose are they? Do you know? I have no idea. Now I can call Charlena. Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, <laughs> was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> Never mind. Man, I thought... I thought that was what triggered that. Okay, maybe I need to... Hello? Me again. What's the status of your plane? Nobody will tell us a thing. And now a bunch of really dark clouds are rolling in. What's going on with you, Nan? Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? Oh, try putting the pranks in the front. Okay. I think it was more like a well-planned distraction. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, it means that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. I am, like, getting you know, so into the storyline right now. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Like, well, you don't have damn. to sound so happy about it. This is so well rested. Like, rested isn't the right word, but that's what I'm getting right now. The cook, Shorty Thurmond, he says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? Bess? Phantoms don't really exist, okay? According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. Legend. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. <laughs> Would you believe I found a letter that Dirk Valentine wrote to Francis Humber? No way. It was locked up in this chest that belonged to her as father. As soon as I'm done with this conversation, the letter I'll was go never try opened. The... According to his journal, Thanks. her father intercepted it and locked it away before Francis could read it. So did you read it? Of course she did. I mean, she better have. It said that Dirk hid a bunch of his loot somewhere. Ooh, I love it when outlaws hide loot, don't you? What'd the letter say? Well, yeah. apparently Dirk wanted Francis to have the I loot love it. stashed, you know? so he set up this elaborate treasure hunt for her. The letter contained all sorts of weird and obscure miss... clues to help her find what he'd hidden. But if the letter was Having never phone opened, calls like this. Francis couldn't have found the treasure. Oh my gosh, it could still be out there. And someone could be using that phantom horse to chase the ranch. Feeling very nostalgic the ranch because they want to be the ones to find it. We're stuck here for it being be like 2004. For hidden loot? That does it, George. And we're suing the airline and the airport. And we were all sounding like this, basically. As, like, you have to talk fast because you only have so many minutes and stuff. Um. So. 
I, you know, I don't know. It, it's just calling a friend and watching a TV show together over the phone. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. I don't know. It was nice because it wasn't, people weren't just like constantly, um, Oh my god. Thank you. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't open it. Did you I can say imagine. Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Uh, Being Charlena Purcell right Joe, now. Please. Thank you for holding. And thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Mr. Charlena Purcell. Purcell. Like Wind Through My Heart was an instant bestseller. <laughs> and like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew. Tell me about the Can trunk you you imagine found. Well, being Charlena right now. You are just working on a book about like a romance novel based on like a little a little tiny historical thing and a very niche one and then someone just calls you up with all of the answers. <laughs> like, can you imagine? <laughs> It's like if you were working on a thesis or something and someone just gave you all of the results. <laughs> you didn't have to do any- like, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is so funny. The lock seems to have something to do with this image that's engraved on the trunk right above it. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design okay. made up of hearts and doves and the initials but Hotch kiss e my ass. and A-H. E-H would be Eldritch Hotch. Okay, but you're saying, oh, she doesn't, that's weird that she doesn't remember Nancy. But here's the thing. The woman in Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon is not actually Charlena Purcell. She is her, like, body double, basically. And that's why she doesn't remember Nancy. Like, that's the, that's my big, that, that's my, like, big brain moment about that. <laughs> and A.H. would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was ten. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was... I just want to uh, give Ariana credit for that April 9th, 1811. One. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However... I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. I may well write a book. Nicole, the pickle. Be very interested to know what's in this trunk. And since I've helped you or tried to, it's only fair that you help me. Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. Why, thank by you. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? I, you know... Knowing more about them and what happened in the past I may help me figure out line. something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting I, to hear from you. No. Yep. 
when we leave her alone, alone to call the real Charlena. Like, um, someone is saying they know me? Who is this chick? Oh, I don't remember the number. It's like 914 or something. Like 914. Oh, four nine eleven. <laughs> Thank you. I just totally blanked. Well, it didn't blank, I just mixed the numbers up. Something from it. Don't mind if I do. Never forget 9-11. Now I'm, that's gonna be that's now gonna be how I remember this. <laughs> that's how beautiful. Bingo! F H. Francis Humber? I did it again! Green bottle under... Hmm, wonder what that means. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking I'm to you. I'm not gonna... Come in again. Okay. That's fine. It's not possible to open it without calling her. No, no, you can't. You can't open it without her. something talk to you later no hurry hmm nancy i swear to fucking god don't hmm at me i will snap okay no i did i, I triggered everything that's why i at first i got this night confused with the second night The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great. If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. Get two, Brute. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day Honestly, in, day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful. This is also great voice acting. Swine. Well, I'll show them. Love it. It's great. I write a best-selling cookbook. That's what I do. Then I get my own TV show. Then I'll do a movie. And while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's just not quite coarse enough. You know? It's just not quite there. Thank you for this 
happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh, my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. That's what someone wants you to think, Aunt Bet. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do that, you? That's literally it's possible, what I'm telling you. But I just don't know yet. Oh my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of any reason why someone might want you off the ranch? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storm. This, the you plot need to be line that goes when nowhere. Riding, because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. Mineral deposits? Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long-lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get-rich-quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills, or silver, or copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Check, dude. Ejected. And then the boy isn't there yet. All oh, right, we find him. Pump house, maybe. Need something? Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting yeah, snake bit, or really the pump good. house blowing up. One. Plus, that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. nope. Go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing first. I hate hearing him whine about how overworked he is. Talk to you later. No hurry. I don't know why. I just went in that many circles. I mean, I know why. You better not go in there until I call the sheriff. Hi, sheriff. Um, so I want to go in the crime scene. I am in no way qualified to go in a crime scene. Um, but like, you probably won't be doing anything about it anyway. Um, because cops don't give a shit. <laughs> Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? Sorry. Yes, <laughs> My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh yeah? I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure, I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. Uh, in more ways than one, I might add. Uh, weird. Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Weird. Shadow Ranch? <laughs> don't like I know that. All. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of Even them. Even Shorty? You'd vouch for Shorty? Thanks for your help. My pleasure. I, I feel like you shouldn't vouch for Shorty.
Dave? Well, where did you come from? 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 Well, see, I just, I mean, I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Okay. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who yep. Dirk Valentine was. She has a piece of yes, ma'am. See, my great That's... aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, She's brought me she left me a bunch well. of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Francis was real smart, see? Loved yeah. puzzles. Played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after Valentine met his end, Francis was too broken-hearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. There's something written on the back. Hey, Stairs to Cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no, no such luck. She's like, no, Risa, I'm really cute. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... I understand, yeah. but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I'm in a weird know, place here. And I'll tell them, I swear, soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here. I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. Okay, well... No, wait. You don't have to leave. Oh. Let him go. He needs space, Nancy. Space. confusion acid wonder what somebody's been using that for The message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these stairs. That was easy. Contrast on this is not good. In fact, it's very, very bad. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I mean, I know the point of the puzzle. I don't think I, I don't, but... There's something inside. I am glad that you go. are getting your picture painted wearing your Ooh. favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Meet me on Friday at noon by the Big Picture Rock. I love you, Dirk. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he orders special from California? And you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them and I bought you four tins. 
I also bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the three-armed cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you. Sorry. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate, and the prettiest too, what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake. I just remembered I have marzipan too, downstairs but still. Is as good as getting lead and from you. Do you guys Whenever know how hard it is like for me to not just go paper, eat some marzipan right you. now? I only Does steal that from people who have plenty amazing. of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed, but if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be just so we could always be together be at charlie's grave at sunset this thursday i love you dirk looks like i'm back in the den Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. All right. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. No, you. This is again. <laughs> no thanks. Ah. You stop making that sound. Looks like the pipe is pretty there badly corroded. Okay, I remember what I'm doing. Nope. Oh, there. Talk to Hello, Nancy. Oh no. Yes, I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. Oh, thank God it went away. Oh, Jesus. Because of that cellar thing, you don't have to be embarrassed as long as you level with the Raleigh's like you said you would. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. No, we've been you playing bet. her very nice. This naive. chicken coop's Just been a thorn in my side lucky. ever since I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So if you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Will the wire get here before it gets dark? Doesn't look that way. But you still have to put it up, even if it means working at night. Just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done. Because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck of a banquet. And you're going to be in a lot of hot water. No problem. Now, is there something I can do They're for putting you? putting that on me. May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest Cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never see me again, for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona. This, this is Not weird. Not even when my father, 
whom I despise with every part of my being, this is a has weird left reading. this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax it's my brain. It's just an interesting read. And was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. Know, too, that I miss you terribly and always, always will. Francis. P.S. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born. And was quite clever himself. Oh, well, no. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Ow. Creek. It's a ghost town now. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Is it far from here? On your way to Mariazzi's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. Vilest man it's about an hour and She's a half so ride. dramatic and this I love that for her. something to do yes. with the treasure? It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. I'll let you get back it. to work. Your little work. Why? Pick those vegetables for me yet? Not yet. I need those vegetables, Nancy. Jesus. I would love to, but there's a rattlesnake out here. Now there isn't. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's sure. more ripe stuff out there than that. You bet there is. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. You bet there is. I just... I should have done the, um... Strat. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. There is? I'm I'm just apparently blind. <laughs> it's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more rap stuff out there than that. Oh, that this is the is. last, the worst time I've had of this in so long. I'm just not so smart sometimes. Not that smart. I've been telling you that for years. I'm not that smart. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for oh, me. Oh, you, you betcha. betcha. Good for you. Jesus now, if Christ. you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? 
I'm inclined to think that someone, not something, is responsible for the damage to She's the pump house. She's just out I here telling pack. everyone it everything. Through. That's why it burst. She's that and bad vibes from that equine banshee. <sighs> what do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid around here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? Nothing, really. But what makes you so sure he didn't stash any of his loot here? When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure <laughs> talking to you. already? Yeah! Hell yeah! I will lead you to it, madam. Got those eggs for me? Right, right here. here. Good for you. Good for you. I need you, you to do one more thing. It's one Texas more thing, birthday. make a birthday the cake. Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw Here's a Here's the thing, is I it, really want cake actually now. Appreciate it. So why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the I day. The cake, icing's already you know? made. It just sounds amazing. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. <laughs> oh no. This is not the right time. I didn't take a picture. Okay, try this again. Hey chat and Risa, want to guess what mandated activity our administration is asking all the preschool teachers and assistants to do this Friday? Um, is it, uh, active shooter training? God, bowling. Okay, that's that's amazing. Um, one cup of butter. She a hefty cake. She thick. Two eggs. One and two thirds cup milk. Tablespoon baking powder. Two and a third cup sugar. Okay, 
god. Five. Six. Seven. I did make an egg-free version of this cake on stream. It's in the highlights. And then one teaspoon, the three teaspoons vanilla. Um, yes, it was as good as the egg version. Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. try a little just, just to, to be, be sure. sure I should put that icing shorty made on it what are these I made you that flour Francis mentioned in her recipe I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go I hate this life here we go I want you guys to understand that I am I am fighting with the cursor. God. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Fighting it's a this cursor. What's this? That's food coloring, so you can paint that marzipan flower. Miss Nancy, how may I be oh. of service? Well, I'd better Bye. get going. Don't be a stranger. I will. I will be a stranger. Um, I use a Bob's Red Mill egg substitute. Uh, it's gluten-free. It's very... It's very good. I use it exclusively. Um, I haven't found another one that works as good as this one. Uh, I just do something a little different with it. I don't pre-mix it like it suggests. I mix the dry stuff in with all the dry stuff and then add the extra moisture while I'm adding in the wet ingredients. Um, and I think that ends up a uh, very good texture. That's what I have found. I can go fighting now. Need something? Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens and the horses in the corral first could be fatal if you mess up so don't talk to you later yahoo did i use it when i lived in colorado um so the egg replacer i did not use um in denver so i can't tell you how effective it is however it does have baking powder in it so you would have to like cut down the baking powder you have in like half um, with the recipe or even have it replace baking powder instead. It's, it's kind of difficult because what we want to do with baking at high altitude 
what you want to do with baking at high altitude is you have to um, take into account not just the pressure, but also the humidity. Um, so what you want to do to the air heats up fast and it doesn't like it, it'll go up 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 and then deflate um is the most common thing and then um but if oh god where was i i got distracted oh no oh no oh but you what you want to do is hit it with a little hotter for a shorter amount of time um so that it like solidifies the the structure before it has time to fall so it cooks it faster around um and that tends to work really well i think i may have gotten really off topic here um but I'm two stones to um, feed the animals. So, I'm gonna stop here for tonight. I'm just like, I'm just gonna kill the animals. I. <coughs> I'll. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you guys for coming um, this Saturday. I'm hoping to stream. I don't know. I think Ariana's still up, out of town. Yeah, she's yeah she's out of town this coming coming week. So no podcast. Um, she's in San Diego visiting the family. So and telling my ocean that I said hi. So yeah. Uh, before I sign off, one last appreciation for the hair, please before it, it dies overnight. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for the hair. This side specifically. Thank you. I'd like to thank this wash day. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Peace.